Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to use my map database API. This is an open source map that I made so you can uh, save data in your map uh, online without having to program or uh, host a database yourself. So the first thing you do is open this map database underscore API copy and paste, copy, new map, paste, and then save the map as your own. Now, let me demonstrate how this works. So, at the start of the map, the data is automatically loaded. And as you can see, there is no data on this user in this map. This is a save button. Now we just saved what's after the post slash. So we saved data. If we restart the map, we will load data. Now let's try kill his boss. He's dead, right? Yeah. Now we save, and now the data is data has killed the boss true. And if we load and restart the map, the data will be data has killed the boss true. And the boss is dead. That's because we can detect if the content of this variable contains a certain key and if it does we kill him that's what we did here so this is if you want to uh, if you have a good understanding of how this works and you want to make this production ready for your map this is just the basics that you need to have to get going so what just happened now is this is the trigger that gets run when it's finished loading. And this will execute this and this. Let's look at this trigger. This is basically testing if the data we have loaded contains this key, has killed the boss true. And if it does, we're going to show text has killed boss, and we're going we're gonna to set the character health to zero. And saving is very simple as well. We this is the uh, trigger that we want to run when we press the button. This will attempt to execute this, which will add this will add has killed the boss true at the end of the uh, variable. So you will just add one another. But it will only you notice that this is not enabled by default. So this will not happen unless the boss has died, trigger on death, boss death and will activate the trigger. Now, so if the boss is dead, then the save data will contain has killed boss true. And there's nothing much to worry about here other than on saved. So you can have, this is what will run when you have finished saving. And this is, for example, uh, you can detect if this is the first time he's playing. So let's make something our own. So let's go through this together. So let's make a door. And we're gonna basically just make it so we... It works the same way. It saves the... It saves the kind of state of the door. So whether it's open or closed. 
So we're just gonna make a very simple uh, system here where you just move the door up this region and okay so let's first handle the saving so we're gonna make a new trigger here which is called I'm gonna call it for save save door data um, this doesn't really matter um, But this can I can I just realized I made a mistake. This can be anything you want. So this is say the new data, whatever. This can be just I'm gonna update this. But what you have to worry about is uh, this value here, parameter B in action one. So we're gonna uh, call this where has opened door and that's it now we're gonna just execute the trigger at the main save function save uh, save trigger but it, this is not enabled by default so what we want to do, do is if we have opened the door so in the door trigger we're gonna activate that trigger so now it's enabled and now it will actually add has open door at the end of the uh, the end of the variable so we can just quickly test this that the saving works let's uh, open the door and save and now the data has, has killed the boss, true, has opened the door. Perfect. But now we have to load the data. And this is where the loading is. So we, let's just make a new trigger. Checky uh, tool. This uh, main uh, ma uh, loading trigger has to activate this. And we're going to just test if the in action to parameter B we're going to type in the key we're looking for so has opened door and if it has opened the door we're going to move the door automatically uh, we're also going to set the speed of the door super fast so it seems like it's already there Let's see if this works. And then since the variable contains has open door, the door will be open automatically and the boss is dead. So that is basically how the system works. It's very easy. And what I want to point out is uh, if I log into another account, I will not save the same data as uh, if I were a Max Teabag account. Each account have different saved data and guests or someone who is not logged in will not be able to load data. Um, and of course, it's the data is basically unique to each player on each map. So, I hope you guys can find this uh, helpful, and um, e and uh, I will be happy to, if you make something cool out of this, I will be happy to see it. So, um, yeah, thanks.